Hi, Marty. Hi, Thelma. Just trying to get things set up. How are ya? You didn't miss anything. I just started. <laughs> You're on time. Hi, Jamie. Just want to add a few comments here. And if you don't get lives, make sure you click on the first link in the comments that I listed. Hi, Thelma. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? Good? My rubber band. Oh, my stepdaughter Sarah is on. Tell everybody, tell Sarah hello. Who else is watching? My rubber band's in the way. Hi, Sherry. <clears throat> Hi, Jean. This is my stepdaughter Sarah's first time watching. So everybody welcome her. I may even get lucky and my granddaughter may be on too. I know Lori's got her hands full. So we got six on. All right. <clears throat> well, I have to share the good news. My son and daughter-in-law got an offer on their house and they accepted it. So they have to move in 30 days. Isn't that awesome? Woohoo! They are so excited. All right. I brought... I don't know if any of, any of you have ever seen these. These are called tobacco baskets. They sell them at AC Moore, um, pretty much everywhere. They're an awesome item to decorate. Okay, like for this one, and I ordered some uh, tobacco baskets today, but check this out. Wouldn't that look awesome with a sign in the middle and then a farmhouse bow? Who else is on? Susan is watching. Susan is my other stepdaughter. Woohoo! Welcome. Don't forget to like and share. Everybody say hi to Susan. Okay. Well, this is the bigger one of the two, but we're not going to be working on this one tonight. We're going to be working on the smaller ones. And if I play my cards right, and we don't have a lot of problems with the the live feed, we may get the three baskets tonight. Yoo-hoo! And Sue, I don't know if you heard me, I just shared the news. George and Allison accepted an offer on their house. They're going to sign the papers tonight to make it official. So they'll be moving in probably 30 days if everything goes through okay. Isn't that awesome? They are so excited. Hi, Linda, welcome. Don't forget to like and share. And if you want to be updated when I go live, I post it in the comments. Hi, Carol. Carol, Sarah and Susan are on. Isn't that awesome? And I just shared the news. George and Allison accepted an offer on their house today. So they're gonna be moving in 30 days. Woohoo! So yes, we're all excited. All right. We're going to be working with the smaller round one tonight. And what I did was I already, and most of you take my class, know what a woodland ruffle is. But I actually put nine, no, six on here. I cut them at 18 inches, did the woodland ruffle, 
and then attached it to the basket with um, our chenille sticks. Okay? So, I wanted to do that ahead of time, just so I'd have time to show you all the other things we did. Okay? Um, I also made a sign, a custom sign for this. It says carrots for the Easter Bunny. Okay? And then we got our little Easter Bunny. Is that really too bright? Maybe if I look down. Let me see. Oh, changed it around. Change it back. There we go. Maybe if I lower it down. We're getting a, a glare from that one light above. Okay. So we're adding that. We're adding this. And I already glued these together and attached some wire to the back. I'm trying to watch the feed so I don't miss anybody who jumps on. Please don't hesitate to like and share. I really appreciate it. Last week's video got 1.3 thousand views. And there was a few people, there was one person on from Scotland. So we went over the pond and I'm excited. All right, we're gonna first put our rabbit on. And I thought he'd look good right about in there. Isn't he cute? I like the little carrots on the end of his ribbon. And look at his feet. Hi, Carolyn. Welcome. Don't forget to like and share. And if you want to be notified when I go live at the top of the comments, I put the link. All you do is click on that. And when it asks you a question, just answer the question and hit the um, enter button. And then you'll be notified every time I go live. And the day after, we, um, I upload them to YouTube. All right, we're working, as a recap, we're working with the tobacco basket. And this one is a 15-inch circular one. And I put six of the 18 inch woodland ruffles on here so what i did was i actually added some burlap rope to him and we're just tying it to the back of the uh, tobacco basket so he's in there and i'm doing the shake test and he's not falling off so we're good okay then next i don't know i want your opinion should I add any of these in? I know, right, Cherry? Scotland. I was shocked. There was somebody from Utah, somebody from Florida, Nevada. I don't know. That kind of jazzes it up a little, even though I was trying to keep it country. What do you think? What's your opinion? I could put one in, and then we'll see if we like it. And really, working with these is just so easy because it's just putting the uh, pipe cleaners through the back and securing them in place. Now, let's see. We'll put one over here. I did notice that these are not as sturdy as the top part. Pop a color, Sarah? Okay. So I think when I put my door hanger, I'm going to attach it to the top. That way, I'm not going to break one of these. Hi, Rena. Welcome. Yeah, I think it needs just a little pop of color. And like I said, it's so easy to work with these because, look, you're just pulling it through the back and tying it on the back. Doesn't that look cute? Okay, we'll put another one right over in here. Because you know, we like to do it in odd numbers, not even numbers. I got a really cute sign to go in the one that I'm going to put cotton in, the cotton balls in the, in the basket. I don't know, maybe I should have this above his head 
so we, we have it even. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them. Can you all hear me okay? Yeah, I think it looks good with pop color, Sherry. For some reason now, <laughs> my computer is not keeping up with my iPhone. If you're just joining us, say hello so we know you're here. Recap, we're using a tobacco basket. Aw. Thank you, Lori. My, my teacher, Lori. I didn't mean my stepdaughter, Lori. <laughs> what do you think? A little bit of color. Of course, pull those down. Then we'll put one on this side. Probably about here. The ones I ordered today, I ordered from Hobby Lobby, and they'll be coming in soon. <laughs> Sarah, I am scared to death of the glue gun because the other week I glued it to three of my fingers and I actually had a second degree burn on three of my fingers. So I'm trying to stay away from the glue gun as much as possible. Oh, Lori's on, my other stepdaughter. So that means Noelle is watching. Hi, Tina. I'm saying hi to my granddaughter. She came on to watch me tonight. Where is she? Noelle. Everybody say hi to Noelle. Yes, it does, Susan. It really breaks it up some. But here we are so far. And everybody wish Noelle a happy birthday because yesterday was her birthday. She turned five. I know some of you wished her a happy birthday on my, my Facebook page. All right. I think we'll put the carrots on next. These carrots came from um, Target in their dollar section. Don't be shy, Noel. What are you thinking? Tell mommy to type what you're saying. Thank you, Lori. It may, means a lot that she's watching mum mum. That's what she calls me. I miss not being able to FaceTime her last night. All right. So how's that look so far? We got the bunny in the middle, the carrots on the side, and now this is the, I just learned how to do this. I actually, actually decoupaged the uh, paper on here. Then I cut the design off on my new cut and scan, and or scan and cut, and added it to the wood. So we're gonna put that on there. Okay. I'll aim you down. Ah, oh, she's finishing dinner. Anything good? What are you eating tonight, Noel? My mom's waiting for you to say something. Good, I'll be able to show her what I made her. I made you something, Noel, for the front door. You want to see it? I got this too far over. Let me, can you guys see what I'm doing? I'm trying to put this sign on, which I think I have to move it over. Just one link here. I think I need to go in further here. Last week we did a two for one. 
this week we may be able to get three things in. I'm prepared if we can. There we go. Look at that. Everybody's wishing Noel a happy birthday. rearrange this a little bit okay what do you think she's eating meatballs <laughs> and then I'll hang the hanger I actually have some rope which probably fell down I actually had it right here um, I can get some more. This is a really nice, strong, like, wired um, rope that I thought would look awesome on this. Thank you, Rena. But I thought this would really help with this on top. Um, it's kind of rustic like the, the um, tobacco basket and yet sturdy enough that I think it'll be able to hold it. Actually, I want to do it a different way. If you're just joining us, say hi. Let us know you're here. That's not the way I want it to go. I think I have to do it this way. Put a knot in it first. Thank you, so. You know what? It's not long enough. <laughs> I think that's what the problem is. I'll make it longer. Thank you. And I can shorten it if need be. Okay. I'm trying to do it so the knot doesn't show. So I know what I have to do. I have to do it this way. There. Rustic. How's it look so far? Noelle wasn't on last week, but I wanted to show her if she can see. There. I wanted her to see what I made her and Alex and Eve for the front door. I went back out and I got a set in blue because <laughs> I didn't think it would be appropriate to uh, have all three pink, but that's for Noelle for the front door from my mom. Can she see it? Isn't that cute? It's actually three little grapevine wreaths with a big pom-pom in the middle. This is a four inch pom-pom. And then I put a nose and some whiskers and some wiggly eyes and then they can take these off and play with them if they want and then put them back on. Isn't that cute? I made that on my live last week and I said, you know what? For the three grandchildren, the three little ones. So, probably won't get to you by Easter, but you'll have it for next year. Can you see it? Okay. Cool. All right, so we're done with the first one. So, thank you, Kay. We'll go on to the second one. Now, this one is not a round one. This is more rectangle in size. 
This one is a, a 9 by 17. And again, you can get these at AC Moore. And if you wanted to, you could even um, you could even distress this. You could paint this a different color, however you wanted to do it. Oh, you know what? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm getting so ahead of myself. We forgot the bow. I had a bow made for this. And I did this one on the easy bow, okay? And that was supposed to go here. <laughs> so our pop of color is in the bow, duh. Thank you. There we go. Now this one, we've got several colors in here. We've got a check got a stripe, we got a bunny with carrots, we got polka dots, we got this one, and we have a solid. Okay, so that one's going to go right there. I am so sorry, I just got totally ahead of myself, which happens. <laughs> And again, it's so easy to pull this through. And wouldn't this look awesome with somebody's initial in the middle? And, you know, a bunch of florals around it. There we go. What do you think? I'll shift this over there. Now it looks better. Jeez. I had it sitting up there and totally forgot about it. And this will go on Etsy probably in the next day or two. I'll have it up there. Okay. Now, with this one, again, I went ahead and made the bow already. So I wouldn't be wasting a lot of time. Okay. Thank you, Thelma. Now, this is my first attempt at florals. And I went ahead and did them ahead of time because I wasn't sure how I was going to place them. And I knew it was going to take me a long, long time. So, and with this one, we have a cute little lamb who's going to go on the, the uh, tobacco basket. And then it's time to get away from some Easter and look towards spring. You know how you always see those signs, welcome you all. I went a little play on words. You, as in sheep. <laughs> I thought that was kind of cute. Again, I decoupaged the paper to the back, cut out my letters, placed them on, and then decoupaged over them to seal them. All right, now with this one, I have to secure the flowers in place. So... I pretty much have them where I want them. And again, this is my first time doing florals, so I was half afraid. Thank you, Sarah. A lot of my puppy moms are on here. My puppy breeder was on here. I don't know where Nanny Dot was. is. I thought I saw her pop on. But I can't believe how easy it is to work with these baskets. Now, the ones I ordered that are coming in, they're a lot bigger than these. I have a really cute sign that says, Home is where the crickets sing. So I think that'll be really cute. And the object of this is to go above. And when you do your florals, to zigzag them. So, there's one hiding there. There we go. But there's that so far. And then he looked really good, like just hanging right here on the bottom. See that? All right. 
Then I already put the little tabs on the back because I wanted to be really careful not to burn myself again. So, um, where are my wire cutters? Can you all see okay? There. But I played with the colors in the sheep and this sign kind of led me towards these colors for the um, for the floral because you've got the blue in here, you've got the light blue, you've got kind of this greenish, bluish in there. Um, and I threw these in for a little pop of color. And then I threw them in the, uh, the bow for a little pop of color too. That's what's nice about making your own signs because you can start out with a color and then you can find a background to match that color. Thank you, Thelma. Thanks, Sandra. If this is your first time on and you want to be notified of my lives, go to the top of the comments and the first link in there, you click on it and when you answer the question, it will automatically um, alert my um, computer bot and he will make sure that you get notified every time I go live. And please feel free to like and share. We had someone on from Scotland last week and that was pretty cool. Actually, it got viewed Last week's um, wreaths got viewed more than a thousand times. So I was really excited about that. Now I want to do this on an angle. Thank you, Sandra. I appreciate it. I also put a link in there to um, my YouTube channel. So if ever, this happened last week to a bunch in my group, if ever you come on here and I'm supposed to be live and I'm not on, you may just want to go to my YouTube channel. Facebook let a lot of people down last week. Thank you. And then I'll go back and I'll, I'll shore these up more. Okay, and I got to figure out how we're going to mount him. I think we're going to have to put a hole in his butt. <laughs> Ouch! And put the, uh, the wire through there to attach him. I'm sorry, little lamb. It's got to hurt. And any of my signs, if any of you um, are interested, I can make up more. I love my skin and cut. I brought this down to glue there to hide some of the wire if I needed. Oh, fell down never find it. Good night, Noelle. Love you. See you soon. That was my little granddaughter. It was her birthday yesterday. She turned five. She was born on St. Patty's Day. All right. I may have to secure them a little bit in the front too, just to keep them and hold them down. But there he is. And then I made another bow on the easy bow. Remember how I showed you last week we layered we started with the bottom and worked our way up. 
and see all the uh, colors I pulled out of the sign in the flowers. Hi, Sue. Welcome. Sandra, keep watching. If you haven't used one before, I always, uh, well, I, I go back and forth between that one and the Probo. If you have any trouble, don't hesitate to call or email me or whatever. Just trying to stretch these out a little. Okay, this will go right here to cover up the bottom. And again, we'll just be taking these right through the back to wire it down. Be great if you could just see what you're doing. <laughs> A lot of people going live tonight, so <laughs> we're all competing for watchers. Okay, what's that look like? Think you would like that hanging on your door? Hi, Linda, welcome. We just finished our second one. Thanks, Sue. Thank you. And don't forget, at the top of the comments, I have the link to click. It's the first link. You click on it. It'll send you a question. You answer the question, and then you'll be notified every time I go live. I know, right? Isn't he adorable? I just love those eyes. That's why I went with the play on words. I thought... You know what? He doesn't deserve to go in an Easter basket. He deserves to go in a spring floral design. All right. We've done two. Do you want to do a third? I do have some in there, Marty. It's right here. Can you see it? Hi, Brenda. So glad you could join us. Brenda's one of my puppy moms, too. I think I got quite a few of puppy moms on here tonight. There is some tucked down here behind the sign, too. And there is some there. Oh, thanks, Jean. <gasps> Far from easy when I work with florals because I don't do... A lot with florals but um, the one group that I belong to um, they're adding more florals the one lady Doreen on um, Friday night she actually did four um, florals and they were just gorgeous all right we'll go on to number three <coughs> <coughs> And I'm just showing the big one again for those that are just joining. I actually have a sign that I'm making that's going to say, Home is where the crickets sing. And I want to put that right in the middle of this big one. And then put a nice farmhouse bow on it. Wouldn't that look awesome? All right. You guys remember, well, most of you remember when I got my, um, when I did the bee, 
This was the little guy I was waiting on that took so long to come in because he's handmade. Isn't he adorable? It says little stinger on it. <clears throat> All right, so what I did was, those of you that took the class when we did the Easter cross, well, you're, so you can take apart those um, baking racks and make a square frame. So what I did was, again, this is the Woodland Ruffle. Now the Woodland Ruffle, let me show you. These were, I think, 20, these were 20 inches. And I'm not sure if all of you know what the Woodland Ruffle is, so I'll cut one to kind of show you. Okay, but it's actually rolling both ends up and then scrunching it to the middle. That's a woodland ruffle. Now you can either place it on the wreath this way or place it on the wreath this way. And this one, I placed it down. And I went with pink and purple on this one. Okay, so... I alternated, I think there's like, there's four, there's five in each section. Okay, so I didn't even use a full roll on this one. And this is the 10 inch snowball mesh, deco mesh. <clears throat> okay, and of course, I had to make another sign. This one says, welcome spring. And again, I was able to, to put the colors from my mesh in my sign, so it all matched. This was paper from AC Moore, and then I just, um, this is vinyl, and it when you're doing your signs, it just sticks right on, and then you coat right over top of it with your deco mesh to preserve it. Okay, and then again, I used my Easy Bow. And look at all the colors I put in this. Isn't that awesome? All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna first, now these, these came from Walmart. They were, I think, 98 cents a piece. They're in the um, Easter section, okay? Because what I want to do, I don't want to do this in a square. I want to kind of put it in a diamond sheet. So, my flowers are going to go right about here. Can you see that? My sign is going to go right about here on the corner. Then I thought I would stick my, oops, he's getting caught, my bee right here so it looks like he's headed towards the flowers. How's that looking so far? And then, because this bow is a lot bigger than the last one, I thought I would stick that on this corner down here to kind of take up that corner and hang downward. Yes, no? All right, I'm going to start by securing the flowers because the sign is going to go over top of them. And these stems are really long. I folded them up because I didn't want to cut them. All right, so we need more wire. Actually, I think I'm going to go with a pipe cleaner to secure those. I think it'll, I'll get a better grip on it. I'll go ahead with the light. Except I'm not supposed to hook it to my Band-Aid. <laughs> I did. This um, square frame, to me, didn't feel sturdy enough, so I actually added two pieces of wood to the back just to give it more stability. There we go. And I think I'm 
think I'll use the wire on the sign because it hides it better. I didn't post it yet. There will be a class on Saturday at 1.15. Marty wants to come and do the bunny, or the Easter one. Marty, are you going to bring your, your rabbit for that? And then um, someone, who was it? Diane, like the um, rabbit wreaths that I posted on here today. And she wants to do one of those. So what I'll do for Saturday's class, I'll open it up to whatever you want to make. If you have a wreath at home that is looking really, really bad and needs a new ribbon. Linda, I actually made the square uh, frame. If you look on YouTube... There are videos on how to um, make, I'll show you. There are, there is a, I think her name is Southern Girl. She does YouTube videos all the time with Dollar Tree items. And what she actually did was took the baking racks from the Dollar Tree, cut them down to make the frame, and then used it to make a cross. Because the cross um, frames are hard to find. Well, then I saw this week, she took these and broke them down and made a square wreath base. But for this size and the weight of all the stuff I added, I actually added this the uh, wood supports. I'm gonna put another two across there also. Um, and then it was real easy just doing the woodland ruffle and then adding five in each section on each side. So that's where I got the square wreath form because again they're hard to find and and if you do find them they're they're so expensive it's ridiculous and when you're trying to create a class you know you don't want all your your money going into everything that you're adding because then it's like <laughs> it's you don't, you don't make anything off of it then if you have it all in materials. All right, I'm gonna have to flip this over and find my corner here. And my bee is flying around and getting stuck on everything. And I always go back at the end when I'm off camera and I trim the excess wire etc to clean it up because the last thing you want is the wreath scratching the person's door that purchases it and I will be um, I will be posting all these on Etsy I always wait a day because sometimes on the live somebody is interested in purchasing the wreath so I always wait a day and then I, I list them. Okay, so we've got our sign, we've got our flowers. All right, so now we'll go ahead and attach our bee. So it looks like he's, and it already came. She already sewed the, the tie on for that. There is, a comp, there is a woman on Etsy that makes these patterns and she sells the patterns. But I wanted to go ahead and purchase one pre-made just to see how much is involved <laughs> before I purchased any patterns. Um, she's got a really cute snowman, like a primitive looking snowman, which I thought would be cute. 
to get for Christmas and start making them now because by the time Christmas rolls around I have a feeling I'm going to be really busy again I didn't even get to send Christmas cards out this time for the second year in a row so So look at that, I beat my record. Last week we did two, this week we did three. And I think three's my limit. <laughs> there we go. Okay, shake test, nothing's falling off. All right, so now as you see, I got my pink, I've got my black, I've got my purple, I even pulled in the green. Um, we actually, next month, have the ladybug and bee classes coming up, so this is a, these are ribbon that I already purchased ahead of time for those classes. So I think this is going to go right here. Oops, the other side. There we go. I try to make something that no one else has made by using different items. That's why I like being able to make my own signs because I know it's something that nobody else has. I, I like my items to be one of a kind. And I only use the wired ribbon because if this item is put outside and it's exposed to the weather or the wind, the wired ribbon is going to hold up way better than any other ribbon. Missing a loop. There it is. Okay, we're done. What do you think? Can you all see it? There. Now, is there anything that anyone is interested in seeing on a live? Any type of bow? Thank you, Sherry. Thanks, Sue. I'm so glad you got to come on. I can't get my boys to come on and watch me, but I got my stepdaughters. And that means a lot for you to support me. Thank you. And please share. Because I'm aiming for, well, I want to, I'm trying to build my base here. So by the time I get over to YouTube, we can really um, step it up. And then we'll do a drawing for a free bow. And I'll make it live. You get to choose all the colors you want in it. And I'll ship it to you. Usually, for those that are just stepping on, usually what I do is I actually have a mesh roller here that, that, that Dad made me. And I measure all my mesh out. I cut it. And we go from start to finish. Hi, Belinda. You're just joining us. Here's wreath number three we did. And you ought to see the watermelon wreath that Belinda posted today. 
It was beautiful. Are you just stepping on, Belinda? Because I can pull the other two out and show you if you want. Actually, Sarah, if you look at the beginning of the comments, it's the third one down. I actually have my Etsy link there, my YouTube link, and the link to my bot, which, again, if you click that, then um, it will automatically let you know when I'm going live. It sends out a message ahead of time. Okay, Belinda, I'll get them for you, hon. Here's the first one we made. And it, see, it's a round tobacco basket. Okay. I made the sign. It says carrots for the Easter Bunny. The carrots came from um, Target. It's a 18 inch woodland ruffle. I just have six of them on there. See, they're tied on to the back. Then we put the bunny in, we put a little tubing in for a pop of color, and then the bow, which I have to secure a little better. It's not staying too well right now. But that was the first one we did. Then the second one, and the, um, the tobacco baskets came from AC Moore. I made the sign, put a little floral arrangement in here. Then we've got a little sheep, so that's what the play on words is. You for you, all, and then the bow. And there's no mesh on this one, so basically it's just the lamb, the bow, the sign, and the florals. Thank you. And this basket, I measured it, I think it was a seven, seven by 15 or 16. It's a rectangle one. You cannot get the rectangles anymore. They are totally sold out. But I did find um, bigger ones on Hobby Lobby's website. They were more money, but um, I like the shape of them better. I think they're really gonna hold up nice too. I did pick this one up at AC Moore this week. It's a square one. And I thought this would look cute in there and I'm working on a sign for in the middle here. It says home is where the crickets sing. So the only thing is it's bigger than this circle. So I'm either gonna have to cut this or put the sign in and just put a few of these on, not do a complete circle. And then I thought I'd do a farmhouse bow on this one because I think that'll really look good. And when I was showing the girls, they were asking me where I got the square um, frame for this. Okay, it's actually made out of the baking racks like we did for our... Um, for our, our cross class when we made the crosses. We actually, there's a YouTube video. I think her name is Southern Girl. She does a lot of Dollar Tree um, videos and she actually has the video on how to make the frame out of baking racks. So she did a video this week stating that you could make a square frame, wreath frame out of them. But what I found, for the weight of everything I have on here, it wasn't secure enough. So I actually added two supports. I'm going to add two more. Because I just felt it wasn't supporting it as good. And the bows were made on the easy bow. Which I made ahead of time. Well, now you know what you can do with it. 
and they make great centerpieces too. Um, when I watched Doreen on Friday night, she actually took a box, okay, which you can substitute this for a box, and she actually had the bunny on one side, actually sitting up, and then greenery on the other side with a lot of eggs and stuff. And she made it so you could pop some of the items out so you could leave it up longer for spring um, so it didn't have to look like just Easter. Now, the big ones were 10 at um, AC Moore. So... But I have a lot of cotton because we did all the farmhouse wreaths in class. And I still, I still have one left. Actually, somebody contacted me about it. This was another sign that I made. And we actually just did the greenery on the bottom and, and this side the bow, and then the sign on that side. And we actually had it in teal. It said, home sweet home, or bless this home. We actually did them in teal also, and used the teal colors that I have. husband made me a whole wall of lattice over there which works great for hanging up all my wreaths for class thank you Sarah you know what happens if George gets that house he's got an awesome workshop out in the back so we're gonna get a CNC machine so remember the wreaths I made you at Christmas with your name we're going to be able to make them. I won't have to buy them anymore. He'll be able to make them for me. Does anybody have any questions or any uh, anything you want me to, to do on my next uh, live? I know it's Monday night. Monday night's hard to get back in the groove. <laughs> Belinda, there's a lady on Etsy that makes these. And there's a lady on Etsy that sells the patterns for these. She has a really cute um, primitive snowman that I want to get the pattern to. But I thought I'd buy the B first to see if I liked the pattern. Thank you. The teal was pretty. I had a lot of people choose that. And I have all the, um, the farmhouse ribbon. I have it in green. I have it in brown. I have it in tan. I have the checks. Um, I have it in teal. And we used a lot of the teal when we were doing that one. Um, that really looked nice. I know, isn't he adorable? It says little stinger on it. I thought it's a little stinker. It's a little stinger. <laughs> I'll I'll look up the um I think it's like gooseberry. Thank you, Thelma. Thelma's one of my puppy parents and she's also been to several of my classes. And the last class she made her first full mesh wreath. And she had little um, M&M people. She loves M&M people. So she put all the little M&M Easter eggs all over her wreath. It looked really cute. Thank you, Jean. Yes, that one was pretty. So... So the next wreath uh, class will be Saturday, and it will be any wreath you want to make. Um, 
Marty's coming to do a bunny wreath. Um, I posted two uh, grapevine bunny wreaths today that are not poofy, so they work great for between storm door and a regular door. So um, Diane inquired about those bunnies, so I guess I'll be looking for more of those bunnies because <laughs> she wants to come and do one of those wreaths. So. But again, I love making my own signs. <laughs> Marty, are you listening? Jean wants to come to class on Saturday. Now she wants to make a bunny wreath. <laughs> Thank you. I know a lot of people don't like a lot of the poof because they want to be able to put them in between their doors. So that's why I did those so they would fit nicely between the door and they wouldn't get smushed. <laughs> Marty says, woohoo! <laughs> Marty's one of my favorite customers. She's got her own spot. And I, hopefully I'll have bar stools by, uh, by Saturday. I have to call the lady back. I found three. I'm looking for a couple more, but I'll take three to start. So. Oh, you want the one that says welcome. Which, and I'm trying to think which one that was. Do you remember the colors? <laughs> Well, what sign you did? Okay, you didn't have a sign on the one you did on Saturday, Jean. You did it without the sign. So the oval one. Okay. I'll have to go back and look. They're all starting to look alike. Not the one with the chicken, right? It wasn't the chicken one. It just said welcome. All right. Behind me on the wall. That one might have sold. Was that the one that was red? Or are you talking the chicken? The chicken welcome sign? This one? You want to make one with that one? Because if you're talking about the red welcome one, that one sold. No? Okay. Not that one. Is it the one with the butterfly? No. I've... We'll figure it out. Just come. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Because I'm not seeing anyone behind me that says welcome. Okay, look on my site. Thank you. I have extra, Belinda. I have... Were you on the other week when I showed all the new signs? Because I got pineapple signs. I got ladybug signs. I got watermelon signs. I have um, beach signs, flip-flop signs. Hello, Donna. I know, right? My whole kitchen is chickens. So, and we have chickens. And we raise chickens that lay eggs. So we sell eggs. <laughs> you didn't see the new signs? Did you want to see them? I can pull them out. Let me move our bee wreath. Oops. Oh, these are ones, these are burlap ones I just did. Isn't that pretty with the pull through method? Hello, Gail. And then I got these chicks from the uh, Dollar General. Would that look cute on there with farmhouse ribbon? I thought so. All right, let me show you the signs. 
and they're all for sale. So we've got flip flop zone. We got ladybugs that say welcome. Be blessed. Home is where the heart is. Gnome. <laughs> I, I really wanted him to do a gnome, and he did a mushroom and put gnome on it, so hopefully he got the message. I did a wreath for my girlfriend um, for her 60th birthday with this one, and I found a company that sells the starfish and the seahorses, and this looks awesome done up in the teal and then the um the burlap it 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 just looks amazing beware of the wiggle butts because i have to make another one of these um that's the same one this is the uh pineapple one it says welcome i have this in rectangle and i have it in a circle same thing. I can't wait to do this one. I thought that would look real pretty. And then I also got Beware of the Wiggle Butts in the rectangle. Home is where the dog is. Farm Fresh Honey. There's a bunch of these because they want to do a bee wreath. So I got a couple of those. Um, I have a lot of people in the area. Hi, Biz Buddy. That's my Biz Buddy, Dawn. This says, horses leave hoof prints on your heart. Um, this one is the seashell one. And this one, because most of my puppy parents want to do... Um, a dog one and I actually found dog bones and what we're gonna do with those is um, here they are we're gonna put their names on the dog bones and then put their dog bones around the wreath because most of them have a couple from me <laughs> um, there's one who has four from me there's several and I have six of my own and I actually make a vinyl set of wings um, I lost um, two dogs this year, and it was really hard. So I've lost three of my Yorkies total. And so my, my in, do you guys know the Personalize It by Pam? Well, she made me this one. And these are all the ones I have that are living. So we're going to have a paw print for each one of my dogs that are living and then we're going to have the angel wings on it for the ones I've lost. So I'm really looking forward to making that one. Um, another one of Be Blessed, that is where the heart is. And then Flamingo Road. I cannot wait to do a Flamingo one. So, and I only got one of these, but Now, see how this is pink? I had a really hard time with this until I found this. Dollar General has these placemats. And I thought, wouldn't that be cute to sew it in half, stuff it, and put it on the wreath with the sign? Because my watermelon... Um, ribbons have pink in them so and then I found some really cute ribbon for the one that um, the sandy toes and salty wishes so but all the signs are for sale I just haven't posted all of them on my uh, site I have Be Happy, I have Welcome, It's a Boy, It's a Girl. I have the Big Ladybug Circle sign, which is the size of this. I have 
Um, it's good to be home. It has the green. I have these. I have I have a bunch of these, the honeybee one. I have this one that says spring. I have this one that says fresh eggs. And I have quite a few of the rooster, the big rooster welcome ones. here. So they're all for sale. So if you saw one you wanted, just let me know and I can figure out how much it'd be to ship. Dawn, you didn't get to see what we did, which, well, you saw them. Okay, we did the welcome you all. We did that one. Thanks, Marla. We did this one. Again, another uh, sign I made this weekend. Carrots for the Easter money. And it's all, they're all on tobacco baskets. Which this one was the Woodland Ruffle. Only six of them and it tied very easily to the basket. The only thing I'm suggesting on the tobacco baskets is to tie from the rim for your hanger because I don't feel that these will be supportive enough to hang the wreath. Hi, Marianne, first time, welcome. Don't forget to like and share. Um, I also, in the top of the comments, added a link for my computer bot. If you click on that and type in yes when it asks you the question, it will automatically let you know when I go live. Then there's a link to my Etsy site and my YouTube site. Now, all the wreaths I made tonight and the ones I posted today will remain online for like two days and then they'll go on my Etsy shop. So there was that one. There was welcome you all little play on words there all handmade signs by me and i can make the sign if anybody's interested in it and then we did the square wreath with another uh, sign that i handmade and i actually made the square um, wreath base out of um, the baking racks from the Dollar Tree. It, I didn't feel it was supportive enough, so I added two pieces of wood. I'm actually gonna add some more wood to it, but I made that sign also. And this bee was handmade for me. I bought that off of Etsy. Um, we used the Easy Bow. This was also the Woodland uh, Ruffle Method. Hi Sue, welcome from Kentucky. I'm just going recapping on the ones we made. We made three. Um, and in each section of the square, there's five. So you have a total of 20 on here. And I did them at 18 inches. Okay, so that was the last one we did. The second one we did was our welcome. Handmade sign by me. A little lamb in the bottom there. My first floral. And it's all on a tobacco wreath. Um, these all came from Michael's, or no, AC Moore. AC Moore is now out of the rectangle and you can't even order them online. But Hobby Lobby has a great one. This one was only like uh, seven by 17 or seven by 15. Hobby Lobby has bigger rectangle ones that are nicer. So I just ordered a bunch of those. And then the first one we did, which I have to fix the bow, um, carrots for the Easter Bunny. Again, on a um, 
a tobacco basket. There's actually six woodland ruffles at 18 inches. And we've got a bunny in here. The carrots came from Target. They were a dollar a piece. They're in that dollar section. When you first walk in the door, they had um, vegetables. In fact, when I found out they had vegetables, I called the store and they only had a total of eight in the store and they reserved them for me. <laughs> so I went and picked them up. So it's really easy to use this as a wreath base. I have to go clean up what I put in there, but um, you know. Thank you, Lori. This was the first one we did. I made the sign, handmade. Here's the second one we did. These are all on uh, tobacco baskets. A little play on words there because we put the little sheep down in there. Can you see it? And then the third one we did was the frame I made. I made a square frame. Again, it's another handmade sign that I made. It's actually just decoupage. I got the paper at AC Moore, decoupaged it to the wood, added all my lettering, and then decoupaged the top of it to seal it off. Thank you. The frame's made out of baking racks from the Dollar Tree, but it's not really sturdy enough. So I actually added two supports. I'm going to go back and add two more. I just feel, would feel comfortable. Um, the flowers came from Walmart. The bee I purchased on Etsy. And then I used the Easy Bow. We did the Woodland Ruffle. There's five on each section. They were 18 inches. So... That's basically what we did. Then everybody wanted to see the signs that I had um, showed last week that couldn't be here. So, and I was telling them AC Moore is pretty much out of the rectangle baskets. Hobby Lobby has a good assortment. And this one was also from AC Moore. They have, they have plenty of the square ones. Hobby Lobby has bigger rectangle ones that I ordered today. And this one I was going to put in here. I'm actually making a sign that says home is where the crickets sing. But I think it's going to be too small. Like the sign is really big. So I'm going to have to separate this and figure out another way. I'm not really... I don't... In fact, I showed everybody, I actually added, and my, my bow is really sinking on this one. I actually added some burlap rope that has wire in it, and I attached it to the rim of the um, tobacco basket because I don't feel that the slats are sturdy enough to support it. So I felt like it needed more support up top here. So this is really secure. So I secured it to that. And again, all my signs, I hand make um, these. And if anybody wanted them, I can, I can make more. So that's basically what we did tonight. And I got a surprise, my granddaughter was on. It was her fifth birthday yesterday. So she got to see the bunny stick that I made last week on my live that I actually made for them, her and the twins. So um, I'll be sending that probably to her because I don't think she'll get it in enough time for Easter if I don't send it. So, And they can pop these off. They're not attached. They can pop them off and play with them and then put them back on when they're done. Four-inch pom-pom um, in the middle. So... That's basically what we did tonight. Does anybody have any questions? Please don't forget to like and share. Um, you can go to the top of the comments. I have all my links up there. And I'll wait a day and then these will be posted on my Etsy site. So in case anybody's interested.
Thank you, Sue. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you. So basically, that's it. We did three tonight. That's pretty good. Although I had the bases already made, so. Any questions? Lori is my teacher, and she's amazing. I just wish I could spend like a whole week with her so I could just suck up all the energy out of her. It's amazing what she puts together. And then I was actually showing the signs I have for sale too. So. So basically that's it for tonight guys. Um, yes, Marty, I'll see you on Saturday. Looks like you're bringing Jean. And we'll figure out what, what uh, wreath it was that Jean saw that she wants to make. Saturday is an open uh, wreath class. Whatever you decide you want to make. Um, you know, it's no set um, class. So whatever you want to make, we can make it. Okay. Yes, she is great, Belinda. I keep telling you, you need to join Lori's group. Lori, I, I'm going to forward you the picture of uh, Belinda's ladybug or watermelon wreath that she did. It was absolutely gorgeous. I keep trying to talk her into it into joining because she'll learn that much more this is the one I'm doing probably next week or soon this is what I wanted to do on Lori's live I wanted to do my um, puppy one see you on Saturday Marty see you on Saturday Jean Dawn there's a link at the top of the page to my Etsy site I have some of them listed there. Um, was there, did you see all the ones I showed tonight? Was there ones that you were interested in? Because I don't have all of them posted yet. I can even show them now if you want. I can go over them again. I have several of the honey. Home is where the dog is. I have Beware of the Wiggle Butts. This one was a hard one to do. I actually did it with the round one. It was a hard one because this color, it's, it's kind of muted. So I actually used a yellow and that pulled this color and the darker colors out. That one was a hard one to do. Um, I only have one of these. This is Lake Living. I thought that was an awesome looking one. Um, I have the welcome in a rectangle or I have it in the circle size. I have the welcome with the pineapples. Um, friends are like seashells. We collect them along the way. The Yorkshire Terrier ones are reserved because I got a, I breed Yorkies and and uh, so I got a lot of Yorkie parents that want to come to that class. Horses leave hoof prints on your heart. I've got ladybug ones. And these are nice, these, because they already come with the holes. So they're easy to attach. Um, Be blessed. I have those. I have flamingo rude. Um, sandy Toes and Salty Kisses. It's So Good to Be Home. That's a really nice ladybug one. I think I have this one listed on Etsy. I know I have this one listed on Etsy. Um, fresh Eggs. I got 
got a couple of those. This one says spring. I've got quite a few of these. Old fashioned pure honey. Um, I've got a boy one or girl, you know, it's a girl, it's a boy. I have several of these. I have the Farm Fresh one. I have one left of these. No, yeah, one left of this. And I think I have like five of these. So that's basically what I have. If you don't see what all that I had here, oh, there's a flip-flop zone one. I mean, like I said, they're not all listed. So if you saw one that I showed you and you're interested, let me know. Okay. But pretty much that's it for tonight. Um, I usually try to go live on Monday nights. So, um... Again, go ahead and register with my robot. It's at the top of the comments. It's the first link. Then there's a link to my Etsy shop and then a link to my YouTube channel. Okay? All right. Thank you for joining me. I enjoyed having you. And if you think of something you want me to make, um, just let me know. I'll work it in. Okay? You're welcome, Dawn. All right, everybody, have a good evening. Bye-bye.